Three Eye Atlas, Avi Loeb, and Aliens. Let's talk about it. When we last checked in, Three Eye Atlas had just entered the solar system. We had about a pixel of data out of it, and there was scientific debate as to whether or not this thing had a tail, aka whether it was a comet. And we were pretty sure it was pretty big. Some people were saying five kilometers, some people were saying 20 kilometers. Avi Loeb took no time in saying not only does it definitely have a tail, this tail is pointed towards the sun, just like, say, a propulsion system would. Therefore, this enormous object must be aliens. That's a pretty big leap, especially with as little data as there was. Well, there's been follow-up data. Is this a comet? Beth. This was taken by the Gemini Observatory showing a beautiful cometary tail pointed directly away from the sun, just like a comedy comet should. But that hasn't stopped Avi Loeb from saying, well, this thing is still enormous. This thing must be 46 kilometers wide, which would be statistically extremely improbable. So once again, this must have been sent here by the aliens to check on us. This is a really good example of using real numbers and what sounds like a scientifically plausible assumption to make an outlandish prediction. So Dr. Loeb said this thing must be so large because its nucleus is reflecting a lot of light. A comet typically has an albedo of about 4%. That means that 4% of all the light that strikes it is reflected back. So it's quite dark, and this is normal for comets. Dr. Love is saying that given the amount of light reflecting back on it in the near infrared, the nucleus must be enormous to reflect that much light given its albedo. Therein lies the problem. He's assuming that all the light reflecting back is coming off the nucleus, but we know that that's not the case. I mean, look at this thing. It is huge and has a giant coma, a giant cloud around it that also reflects light. He says, well, the coldest material, what's being observed in near infrared, must be at the nucleus, and that's what's reflecting all this near infrared light back, meaning the nucleus is huge. There is no evidence for this, and just Generally speaking, when it comes to comets, a lot of the material that comes off of it is also still very cold and will as well reflect back this near-infrared light. There is a whole lot more coma than there is nucleus, or at least the nucleus is not necessarily that big. So real number mixed with a scientifically plausible, if flawed argument, leads him to say, well, the only logical assumption is that this must be aliens. And that is a little crazy. That being said, I'm not that mad at Dr. Loeb because it has people talking about it, right? I mean, people are interested in comets and interplanetary objects. It makes me a little upset that it kind of immediately goes to aliens because that's the one thing that gets people talking. That being said, it's got people talking, right? 